Okay, this is just a quick one to let you know what's involved in um, modifying your Razer E300 to um, 500 watt. Um, the, the motor doesn't drop straight in. You actually have to You actually have to cut the uh, frame away and put put in some angle iron so as you to make it fit you can see this brake the, the brake linkages had to be extended from from there to there from there to there in order to make it um, work because uh, the motor was in the way um, There's a cross member in um, I don't know if you can see it in there. That that cross member in there had to be shifted. That one's the original cross member. I had to I had to um, had to cut away and just slightly move those two bars that hold the guts of it in had to move them just fractionally because the motor was hitting on them uh, yeah so it's not it's not a straightforward um, swap over there is a there's a bit of engineering to do um, if you're gonna do it uh, once you cut this frame out uh, Put your wheel back on um, and so as it lines up properly otherwise um, what I did was I didn't have the wheel on I put in this angle line I welded it up then when I went to put the wheel back on it the, it was too tight couldn't fit it all back in so you can see I had to step it out here so I had to cut through and step it out um, which was okay it wasn't a bad way to do it uh, but um, yeah, either or either, that's that's fine. Um, I put uh, for 150 bucks. I got uh, lithium batteries, which are great. And the motor came with this, came with a new controller, and this um, uh, ignition switch. That was a hundred and. $25 for that. Cheers.